Hey guys, welcome to Drawing with Waffles, and today we're going to be drawing Mike Wazowski. I really wanted to draw something just really cute, and I decided to draw a little young Mike Wazowski, like the way he is at the beginning of Monsters University. And the other reason I decided to draw Mike Wazowski was because I, know, I just wanted to take a break from drawing, like, girls all the time. <laughs> I mean, I know I could have just drawn a guy, but I was like, oh, I'll draw a guy. But then I was like, I could draw Mike Wazowski. He's a guy. That counts, right? And he's freaking adorable. So that is what I'm going with today. But hats are really hard to draw, like ball caps. I think that's what they're called. Baseball hats. Whatever you call them. <laughs> they're really difficult to draw because they're just such a weird shape. And at first when I was drawing it, I noticed it was looking really, really stiff. And Mike Wazowski's hat that he's given at the beginning of Monsters University, it's really worn and that really didn't fit it. So I decided to just add some like wrinkles later. I don't think I do it right now, but later I realized that it's too stiff. So I make it just look like it's sitting a little bit more on his head by like squashing it a little bit more and adding different shapes that aren't so perfectly round and straight. You'll be able to get a better idea of what I'm talking about when you see later when I change it. I've noticed recently that all my drawings look really, really stiff and they look like they're just, you know, painted on and they're just flat things. And I want them to feel a bit more alive and fleshy. I'm having a hard time getting it to look the way I want it to. So after I watched book three of Legend of Korra, which whew, was actually good, I'm kind of excited about that. Um. I've been drawing a lot of like Janora, a little bit of Korra, but I've been like drawing her doing like crazy fighting airbending moves and it's just so much fun and I mean I'm not like focusing on making it perfect but it, I feel like it's helping me draw things a little bit more flowy and less stiff and I really, I don't know, it's a lot of fun too so I suggest you try it even if just don't worry about the way it looks, just be like okay he's gonna be doing this crazy move so it's probably gonna not look perfect the first time but if I keep like refining the details of the sketch it will eventually kind of look like there's actually a person doing those moves instead of just a bunch of scribbles but the scribbling is actually kind of like the part that's the most fun because you're like okay so I kind of want her to have her legs doing the splits and she's jumping up and like holding herself up with a pinky or something so you just like scribble you're like okay their legs are gonna be here and then the uh body will be somewhere around here the hand will be down here and that's where her pinky will be touching the ground and it's like just scribbles and you're like that doesn't look like a person at all but then you're just like okay so her head's here you start like drawing a circle where the head is and you start refining that sketch so that it looks like body parts and not just scribbles and I like watching it form something and it's like, it's really fun, honestly. And I'm really trying to use that looseness and translate it into my standing still pictures because they're just too stiff for my likings. And um, I kind of used it with this Mike Wazowski picture. I've practiced a lot more since I drew this, but I know I'm just, I feel like, you know when you hit those milestones in your art where you're like, this part finally looks better than it did for 10 years. And I feel like that's kind of where I've gotten with my um, poses because I'm like, oh, I can do these crazy action poses, which I've never been able to do before. But now they actually kind of look like an action pose, which I'm super excited. Ah! And it's because I have like more patience now. Like, let's say like two years ago, if I was trying to draw an action pose, I would be drawing, I'd probably draw like the head and then I'd draw, you know, the action pose. But I'd only get to that scribble stage and then give up because it was like, it doesn't look anything like a person. And then I'd get really frustrated, erase it, try again. But it's not that part. That part is perfect. You know, the sketchy part, you're just laying out your pose. After that, that's when you need to get your patience on and just slowly chip away at it. It's kind of like sculpting. Like you get a glob of clay and then you shape it into like the pose you want. So you've got just globs everywhere. And then you slowly chisel away to make it look like something. That's what, it's basically the same thing. You really can't expect it to be perfect in like the first five minutes of your sketch. Because it never will. Trust me. Anyway, I have a bunch of notes here about the actual picture. But I'm like talking about something else. So it's like, why do I even take notes? Ugh. <laughs> that eyeball. It's a good thing Mike Wazowski only has one eyeball. Because I went really crazy on the highlights. And if there had been two, you would have looked like some kind of crazy diamond eyeball person that doesn't make any sense 
At this point I hadn't decided whether I was going to do some cell shading, so I'm just going through and coloring the line art, but then later I decided since it is a really simple design and Mike Wazowski isn't really that big and there aren't that many colors that I would give cell shading a try again because I've been putting off practicing it for far too long and his simple design seems like the perfect opportunity to give it a shot. And here's where I start cell shading it and since Mike Wazowski is really round, I used a lot of big swoopy circular motions. <laughs> and then filled it in with the color, and it makes them look a little bit rounder, I hope. If I didn't fail, I mean it will, but who knows? And then I used a gradient just to um, smooth out the harsh cell shading, so it kind of mushes together a little bit. I mean, not a lot, but just a little bit. And then once I finished up the MU, I went and added some cell shading to the hat to make it seem a little bit more three-dimensional instead of so flat. And then again, I just used a subtle gradient to blend those two colors together. And at that point, I realized the MU looked like it was like printed on, and I wanted it to look more like it's an embroidery and sticking out, so I added some shadows along the edges of that. After that, I added some like highlights around the mouth so that you can tell that those parts are sticking out of his body instead of just like indented. Since he's doing a weird, he, I don't know, Mike was asking, he has this really weird smile where his like, lip go off to one side and then they stick out a little bit. So I tried to emulate that. And that is the end of our drawing video, speed paint, thingy majigger, whatever I do every week that I keep doing. And I still don't know what they're called, but yeah, it's done. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want, you can check out some of these links on the right hand side of your screen. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pixar movie is because originally mine was A Bug's Life until Monsters Incorporated came out and that was like the first movie. I think I was like, I don't know, 12 or something. And that was the first movie that made me legitimately cry at the end. Like when he opens the door and then she's like, Kitty! I cry every freaking time. Um, so that's probably my favorite. But I do like The Incredibles and all of the Toy Stories. Basically every Pixar movie except for, you know, my thoughts about Brave and... But other than that, I love like every single Pixar movie ever, like The Incredibles and all of them. Okay, so hard to pick a favorite, so I'll just let you guys do that in the comments. Okay, hope you all have a delicious evening. Follow Waffles! Bye!